Only two, two of you. Uh, welcome to your wedding. We are really glad you've made it here. Really glad. Your party is no party. It's all really glad. And as I've been con contemplating life, the one thing I always come back to is that life is about love. And if you don't love, you are not alive at all. You are created in love. We live in love. You are created to love. And when we do that, so we fulfill the very purpose of our being. I truly believe that we are here as witnesses to an extraordinary love story. absolutely stunning today. You have always been the most extraordinary daughter and I want you to know how incredibly best, blessed I feel to have you as a daughter. I've learned so much from you about love, life, determination, perseverance and most of all, Nacho Libre humor. <laughs> It's true, my privilege and it's my pleasure to declare that Hercules, Croydon, Prince and Emma and Chilis, their presence, have been lawfully married and are therefore husband <laughs> and wife. beautiful any day of the week and at any time of the day whether it be in the morning, night, after the threshold sets in the pool or even after she's inhaled four chocolate brownies. <laughs> okay. Well I love him for all of her many great qualities. What I love most about her is how well she gets me. She knows me inside and out and never once ran away screaming. I cannot believe how far we've come. A lot of you guys know him and I had a long distance relationship for four years and there wasn't a day when she wasn't supportive, loving, caring and beautiful. There are no words, no poems that can fully describe the love I have for you. You're my best friend and my hero. I can't wait to fall asleep next to you, wake up by your side, share a table with you, unclog the bathtub because of your mane. <laughs> Clean the water bottles because you're hurting. <laughs> Make your coffee and have many more adventures with you. I hope to bring continuous laughter, joy, love and comfort as we embark on our married life together. Thank you for choosing me and thank you for letting me be your husband. I would like to stand and raise your glass to my wife.
until one evening when I arrived in a very dark St. Mary's car park and saw this hoodied up, uh, rather, rather Batman-like looking figure sitting next to my daughter in the car park. <coughs> Who is that, Emma? That's Joy Prince's dad. <laughs> Needless to say, I was on time to fetch her from then onwards. <laughs> thanks for the support you've given us in our relationship. John, thank you for giving me permission to marry Emma. To Emma and Troy, many years of love and happiness. Cheers, guys. Cheers.